So one thing that's nice about the Kodiak tents is they have this thick bottom. Um, most people don't show this, so I wanted you to kind of be able to see, but it's super thick. You can roll this tent out um, without a tarp underneath. Um, we always put a tarp underneath, and one reason for that is so we don't get a bunch of nasty stuff on it. That's when you're trying to roll it up, you have like mud and dirt on it. Or if there was like a stick or a rock or something that would puncture it, it's just one added layer of protection. So when you put the uh, tent over the tarp, make sure that this base part overlaps the tarp and it, the tarp doesn't stick out. One thing that we've ran into is if that tarp sticks out at all and it rains, it'll actually collect the water and pull it underneath the tent. So just make sure it sticks out. So we'll pull it like this and make sure it's good, stake it in from there. So up here, we have really soft ground. We've camped here a bunch. So we're just gonna use the stakes that come with the tent. They're super sturdy um, and they pound in really easy in this ground. Um, we have used lag screws. Um, you'll see YouTube videos all about the lag screws and how to install them, but we've camped in like the desert and it's really nice when the ground's hard and these don't go in. You can just use like an impact drill and drill them in. So that is an option, but we like the stakes as much as we can um, and just bring a mallet and pop them in. So one thing that's nice, now that this tent is older, it's not as hard to put it up, it's stretched out a little bit. So you can easily do it with like one person. So the tent being five years old has held up incredible. Um, if you look close at the seams, they're all still good. Um, there's no rips or tears in it. A lot of people will hit it with a hammer and it'll put a hole in it. So just be careful when you're pounding in the stakes and stuff not to hit it. And you won't have any issues with this tent. Uh, one thing you will get, some dog prints, maybe some kid prints if you're camping with kids. So it will get some stains on it, but that's all of just having a part of having a sweet adventure. Um, we've had this in an extremely windy situation where neighbors near us, tents like collapsed and like blew away. And this thing is sturdy. I mean, it, it's not going anywhere. It'd have to take some pretty heavy, heavy winds. Um, we've also been in some serious rainstorms. We've been in a rainstorm up by Yellowstone where it literally carved like a river underneath of our tent and it didn't even leak through once. One thing that I have noticed, um, there have been concerns that a lot of people have mentioned. Um, if you roll up this uh, front part, you can clip it like this and people have done that and it started raining and got inside. Just make sure if you're gonna do that, you roll it under and then that way it has a spot to roll off. And you always want to keep this out at kind of an angle and it'll roll the rain right off. And this canvas, it didn't leak at all. And it rained for like torrential rains for like an entire day up in Yellowstone. And then we were out in the desert um, in Oregon. Same thing, rain like crazy. And we were totally, totally good. So rain, wind. We also went through a pretty good snowstorm. We were doing a little winter camping. Um, we actually have a video that talks about setting up like a heater buddy, how to keep yourself warm in here. But that trip, it sn um, snowed and it collected on the tent, didn't bow it, didn't do anything. We just uh, turned the heater buddy on, it all melted off and it dried the tent out. It was amazing. So um, super sturdy, all types of weather. It is a four season tent, so a lot of like elk hunters will take it out in the middle of the winter. We've taken it out in the winter. So awesome tent, super durable. So we wanted to kind of do a video without anything in the tent because it's kind of hard to tell exactly how big it is with all your stuff in there, but I'm six foot two <laughs> and I don't take up a ton of room in here. So um, cool thing about this one, you've got the front door right here. You've also got a rear door, which is awesome because you can get a lot of air, fl air flow through and each door and each side has a window. So there's four windows total that we like to use during the day when it's hot. Um, you can get a lot of ventilation in. We also prop these open when we use our heater buddy, just to make sure that there's no condensation that collects inside and we don't have any issues with like carbon monoxide. But there's also some little vents. If you can see up here, you can open these um, and that'll ventilate the um, tent awesome. Lots of storage. So we put all kinds of stuff in here, uh, deodorants, things like that, stuff you wanna grab easy, um, phones, there's also these little pouches down here. And our family uses these a lot because my wife and one of my kids has glasses. So they can put them in here. We put the mattress by it, 
and they can go to bed in the morning when they wake up, grab their glasses, more storage. And then this thing's really cool. We'll throw a bunch of like um, dirty clothes, um, the bags that we pack all our stuff in, we can throw them up here. Um, it's really sturdy. So whatever you can think of, this is a cool little storage thing. Um, but this thing is absolutely massive. You can see I can stand up completely in most areas of the tent. Um, so if you're like me, <laughs> your back starts hurting in those other tents when you're crouching around, you don't have that in here. All right, so over the years, we've changed the way we kind of set up the interior of our tent. Um, this is the way we found that gives us the most space, um, and then we can sleep five comfortably. So we got twin mattress, twin mattress, twin mattress, and then this is actually a queen mattress on this side. Uh, it's, it's a little deflated right now. Uh, unfortunately, I had a puncture in it, so we just patched it and haven't been able to fill it up because it has to wait a minute. But the nice thing about this is we can all sleep comfortably across here, and then it leaves almost a four foot strip across the entire front of the tent um, so we'll usually put bags for the kids on one side bags for the adults on one side we can still fit the heater buddy in the front and not have to worry about stuff falling underneath of it or into it during um, the night and a whole dog kennel um, our dogs actually sleep with us but uh, we have a corgi that just swims all day long so we usually will bring the corgi into the kennel, let him dry off, and then we'll let him out and um, he can kind of choose who he wants to snuggle up with for the night. Um, but this gives us a lot of room. Um, we've been able to comfortably do this for years. Um, so hopefully this gives you kind of an idea of a way you can lay out your tent, especially if you're sleeping with five um, people. All right guys, so we've had this tent for five years now, so we're doing a little recap on it. Um, we uh, have had a lot of sweet adventures in this tent. It's taken us to a lot of cool campgrounds and dispersed camping and places we love to visit. Um, it's super durable, it's spacious, it'll last you a long time. Um, if you're curious on how to set the tent up, because the pieces going together can be a little bit difficult to figure out on your first time, we've got another video that goes through a tutorial on how to set it up and a basic review when we first got the tent. Um, also, if you camp in a little bit cooler weather uh, or even winter camping, we took a trip when it was like low 20s and there's a video on how to stay warm with a heater buddy in this tent. Um, so check those out. Um, we really truly appreciate all the support, so if, um, hopefully these videos are helpful. Um, if you do find them helpful, um, we would appreciate you subscribe to the channel, um, and we'll see you on some more sweet adventures.